Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mr. Pickles. Thank you for joining me today. If it's your first time, welcome to the channel. Not your first time. Welcome back. Uh, today, we are playing Prison Architect. I believe it's episode 13, although I'm not entirely sure, just because I'm recording all of these at the same time, so I don't really know. Um, it is morning here at the prison, and we are... An hour and 30 minutes away from one of the greatest parts of this game. And that is getting a ton of money. And that is a very exciting proposition. Because who doesn't love ton a ton of money? Um, in today's episode, I plan on... We are going to finally do something that I should have done a long time ago. We are going to build... The criminally insane ward up here. That way so this game can stop bugging me with pop-ups about how I'm not taking care of my criminally insane uh, prisoners. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to start by taking a look to see what is going on here. Let's... Do we have any snitches? If we do, I don't know. Who are they attacking? Okay. He's escaping. You know, we don't have enough guards. We're going to hire five guards, and I'm going to spawn them right on top of this guy. So that way they can just knock him off. Perfect. Great job, guys. Great job. Um. That was it. Okay. I thought there would be a little bit more. I thought he was probably attacking a uh, snitch or something, but that seems to be it. Sick blue hair, dude. Um, that's Ice Pick. We will remember Ice Pick because of his cool blue hair. Uh, so I intend to build the criminally insane uh, ward up here. I'm going to do a quick time lapse where I'm going to plan it out and see how we're going to do it. Okay, so now that we got uh, this area planned out, I'm going to explain a little bit what the planning is. Uh, these are going to be, the entrance is going to be somewhere about, right about here. Uh, these are going to be the criminally insane cells. This is going to be the canteen. And this is going to be the yard. I planned out the cells pretty well and the placements. There are 8, 16, uh, 24, 32 seats, 
and there is exactly 31 cells. 31 to, there's either 29 or 31 cells. So enough seats, everything checks out. So let's go ahead and let's get it built. I'm going to start by only building the bare necessities for the currently insane uh, ward. So just the absolute necessities. Uh, I do want to also design, what did we say this was going to be? This was going to be security and armory. I do want, so the security I really don't care about because it all looks the same. But how can we make the most efficiently planned uh, armory? Maybe just stuff like this. Perfect. Oh, this is... Oh, that was actually a lot easier than I expected. And then we can have the door right here. And this will be a reinforced door. And it will open up into the criminally insane. That way, so the only way to get in here is you have to enter these doors. You have to come all... You have to enter, be escorted through the maximum security sector, and then brought in. And then that way, so it's very secure and very hard to escape. Because we do not want... If, if the door was here or something, it, they could just run out. Um, and that would not be good for the criminally insane. Because they're the crazy people. And they're the crazy people in prison. So, yeah. We want to make it very secure. Um, they are not going to have some of the amenities that other... Uh, prisoners will have. I don't know if they need a parole room, but if they do, they're not going to get it. If they need a uh, a common room, they're not going to get it. Uh, but if they need a medical ward, they can be escorted to this medical ward. Let's get the door in. A nice... Uh, let's get a solitary door. We don't need a a a secure door we just need a solitary door because we don't need the food slot um we are starting to get prisoners that is very exciting we are getting quite a few prisoners today probably a couple snitches and uh ex law enforcement which makes them a target so if we can discover who these people are uh we can help them. Unfortunately, some of them are question marks. If you you know the game, I'm just this is going to be redundant information. But if you don't, uh, some of them don't reveal their they keep it a secret, and unfortunately, that causes a lot of uh, snitches to get hurt because for some reason they're a snitch and they don't want to tell me, so I can't protect them. That should be all the prisoners. Quite a few. We're going to be up to 125 prisoners, and we have 35 guards. I think now is a good time to get 40 guards. So five more. Not that big of a difference, but should help. Especially help them unload the buses of prisoners and get them searched. We have a prisoner who I need you to get the overdose prisoner so he doesn't die. Because that would be sad. I don't want that to happen. We're fought lots of contraband on the incoming prisoners. We might also want to do a shakedown in the nearby future because we got to get all of the illegal narcotics and weapons because we don't want prisoners to have those because that would be bad. Perfect. Now let's make this a high priority so we can get the that material let's just stop the truck right here we need to get that material to up there uh this is not yet signed assigned visitation i did not do this in the last episode let's assign this visitation uh now maximum security families should be able to visit maybe do we have any maximum security prisoners that aren't handcuffed we do. We have some. Alright. That's not bad. Uh, unfortunate... Okay, this is... 
this is a maximum security yard. So I'm going to need you to leave. And I totally forgot to get rid of the walls here and the walls here. We can also get rid of some planning because we don't need it. For some weird reason, there's, there's a couple planning glitches that I'm not really sure where they came from. All right, so now this is in. That's exciting. Uh, for the time being, we can lock this open just because there's not really a whole ton of stuff to do. Uh, let's get, let's, let's start with the tables. We can get tables in. And benches. We're going to pause the game because I want to go check on that. And a serving table. Beautiful. Remove the planning. Remove the plant. Planning. There we go. What are you doing? You're escaping. Where? Where are you escaping to? You guys, uh, that was that was a very poor escape attempt and did not go very well in his favor, might I add. Um, we are, wow, oh my gosh, I am thrilled. 27 prisoners say they are well treated. That is probably all of the new prisoners who got here and didn't realize how bad this place sucks. But I will take what I can get. Where are you guys going? Rocky and Crockett, are you going to brush the trees in the forest? Is this what I'm paying you to do? Is this seriously what your paycheck is going to? They're literally... I am literally paying these guys. How much do you pay Gardener Daily? 50 bucks a day to clean forests. Why Why would I want... Why do I want these trees to be tended to? I mean, in all fairness, there isn't a whole lot of gardening inside the prison. This is a hot mess. I'll have to fix this. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's continue on with what we were doing in here. Let's uh, get some beds. We're going to do the bottom two cells. And then when we're done, we can paste and copy. Toilets. Let's get some showers. And let's see. Pat it. Or not pat. Shower head. I was thinking about what we have to add for this room. And I remember that we need to add, uh, pat, we have to assign it a criminally insane that way so they can make the correct wall thingamabob, whatever, padded walls, which are just cushions that way so the criminally insane patients can't hurt themselves, which would be bad. Let's add lights and then we should be done. For right now in here. Let's get a large door. White for criminally insane. Boom. There we go. My game lagged for a minute. Great stuff. Uh, we're getting... Here comes some of that furniture in on the truck. I'm aware that you don't have a cell. I'm working on it. Just give me some time. That's not good. He's only a sick psychopath. That's a great combination. Definitely what I wanted to have in my prison. What do we need to get the grant? Stop. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, he's quick. Can you knock him off? Knock him off. Yeah, good job, guys. Yeah, that, that was actually a really, really good job to these five guards. They took care of that really nicely. Uh, we need to... Criminally insane. 
Build a wing. Cell block for the crimin criminally insane with 10 padded cells. Cool. I can do that. We can uh, add some walls here. That way so we can even have a little tiny yard for the criminally insane where they can go and play and fulfill all of their happy childish dreams. No! That's not good. No. He was a snitch. I couldn't save him. Okay, you get him. We're going to call a lockdown. Because you guys can't not murder snitches. Jerks. Okay, are you... Can, can you stop? Please? Uh, he's escaping and he has a scissor. We're going to lock that door shut. Now we're going to unlock that door since he's done escaping. And uh, can we get some of these guys over here detained? Because they are trying to escape. Why are you all trying to climb my fence? Alright, at night I'm going to have to change this fence to a wall. Because they, there's a lot of strong maximum security guys who can climb fences. Which is not good. <sighs> Another one bites the dust. In all fairness, if you would have told me who who killed him? This guy? No. This guy? Who committed murder? Who's the murderer? Are you murder? No. Who murdered him? Oh my gosh, am I blind? No, not you. Who killed him? I'm so confused. Did you? No. My mind is blown. Where did the murderer go? Nobody has murder on their record. What? Okay. I'm super confused with what just took place, but someone, someone murdered someone, apparently, and I'm sure they're going to do time. I, 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 I don't know. Just, just go back to doing what you guys were doing. That was a very confusing, very confusing. Uh, I cannot lock this door open. Because then it will be the prison yard will become unsecure because they can just run out. Which is not what I want to happen. <laughs> this guy's chopping down the tree, and all you can see is his little hat sticking up. Good job, good job, Southinator. What name is that? Come on. We got Southinator and Harry. Okay. Here we can open the door, get that in. Let's uh, actually, let's assign this a canteen because that will make this make a little bit more sense. We also need some electrical cables. There we go. No, don't take me that way. I don't know. I don't know what I keep hitting that wants to take me over there. And uh, let's get some power lines in there. And let's uh, hook this up to the main line. That way so we can get tons of power. You are not doing too well, my friend. You guys all did not have a fun time. That's what happens when you fight guards. Where are my doctors? If all four of you... If all four of you are down here, who's going to be up here? I need two of you to go up here. To this doctor. Very soon, my friends, very soon you will have cells. How are you? How's, how's... Wait, what? That is not, that is not the same picture. This is Mike Matthews. The picture is really messed up. Uh, how's your grain, my sir? 2% reoffending chance. Beautiful. That means you'll get out today on parole and I'll get a bonus $3,000, which makes uh, the warden very happy. And by warden, I mean me. 
Okay, the yard is finished. S secured behind one. Yeah, I mean, you kind of are secured behind locked door. This isn't going... There's not a whole lot to do in this yard. I'll just add uh, some bleachers. Just for fun, you know. If you guys want to sit down, take a break, be my guest, you know. Your yard, your yard really sucks right now, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, can I add in maybe some phones? Some, yeah, le yeah. Let's get some phones, because I don't want these guys to get salty because they have nothing to do. So here, I'll spend twenty one hundred dollars. Have some phones. There's no wall to support the back of these phones, but just have some phones. Let's get a couple of them in high priority. Good. I'm. This is actually going really much better than I expected. Uh, we almost have a insecure, insecure, a uh, criminally insane cell block, which is really great. I'm not going to take in any criminally insane patients, um, just because I don't think I need to. I think the cell block will solely house people who've gone crazy in the prison. This yard is doing actually pretty well, to be honest. Except for this. I gotta find, like, some way to make, like, a nice little park or something. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. Let's see. I don't know what that noise was. There's a garbage truck outside my window. Um, so... I mean, it's actually pretty peaceful. Wow. 50 prisoners, well, 49, say that they are well treated. That is a great statistic. That is awesome. That very rarely happens. Usually all of the prisoners are like, your prison sucks and I'm going to riot the next opportunity I can. So that makes me very happy. Uh, did I forget anything for these cells? No. Nope. No, I did not. But uh, these cells are brand new. They are brand clean. Brand clean. Yep. They are new and clean. Are there any, like, padded doors? Is that a thing? Nope. There's no padded door. Okay. Oh! I forgot doors! I'm a dingus. I, for I knew I was forgetting something. I just didn't think it was going to be doors. So, let's get doors. I'll just place them in. Um, I'll place all of them in manually. And then now I can quick build, clone, clone this. Okay, I will clone this since the game doesn't want to be... Oh my gosh, this is gonna be. Hold on, I'll, I'll get. I'll be back when I can figure out how to get these in. Okay, that was a little tricky, but now that that's done, uh, let's assign it to become. Let's get these four cells that are done, and actually wait. Nope, they need to be padded cells. Let's make these padded cells. There we go. Perfect. And to sign this insane only. Perfect. That actually worked out quite well. I'm pretty sure this isn't inside the building. No, okay, it is. Never mind. Uh, yeah, that that should just about do it. We should have a criminally insane ward. Uh, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, maybe hit the like button. That would help me out. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and have an awesome day. Mm -hmm.